So Nesma, congratulations. You finished your PhD, you published a paper. How does that feel? Yeah, it's it's great, especially like it has been quite a long journey. I've been so long in the in the PhD. It really needed so much patience and resistance. I was I feel really great and you know, an achievement, right? Sense of achievement that I finally did it despite all the challenges and all, you know, the, the long time and like, you know, people questioning whether I'm gonna be finishing soon or not, right? Because of the so many years I spent there. That's, I think it's um, I'm happy alhamdulillah that I, I finally managed to, to finish. Congratulations. How long did it take you? Nine years. <laughs> I had the, I had finished the um, courses, like eight courses, but I was done like in a year. And then I, I had to stop because of uh, family reasons. So I deferred uh, for two years and then and then I started developing my proposal, which took quite a long time, like a year as well. And then, and then I started actually the process, I mean, like in terms of thesis writing in uh, late 2018, which is <laughs> quite a long time. It has been a long process. But I mean, again, I think it's um, one thing to say, maybe this was also in encourage others. I mean, I'm a professional, I'm a full-time employee. So, I mean, I have, my job was very demanding. So, I mean, you have to balance everything. Um, and you also have to look at, you know, maybe you haven't proceeded that fast in the PhD, but you've also have achieved other things, right? In terms of work experience, exposure, and you're also, this is also learning, which also helped me, right? In the work I did in, in my thesis. Yeah, it was long, but I think I also shouldn't underestimate the other, right? Learnings that I have been going through and the work experience uh, while doing the PhD. I mean, in addition to other commitments, right? I mean, family and mm -hmm. commitments. So. Absolutely. And I think we, we met around a year ago when you decided to, to reach out um, for support with your PhD. So, I mean, what was happening at, at that time or what were some of the challenges that you were facing that, that made you kind of decide, yeah, now I, I feel I really need to reach out for some extra support? I mean, several things. I mean, first, um, I think what also took me a while, I mean, again, academia is very different from the professional sort of like work and reports and research is very different. So, I mean, I'm the type of person who really wants to look at the big picture and like, you know, do everything but academic research is very different you need to be very focused very specific in one very specific point but it took me a while to realize that uh, that was one of the challenges another challenge that i had before joining i mean i did the primary work right primary field uh, data collection so that had to change my focus in the thesis i felt a bit lost right because they had to structure the whole thesis i mean like have a flow of the topics and the outline that somehow was was like it took me a while to you know i needed some support how would i structure again the whole thesis around this new direction and this new focus which i prefer to go through right i mean then doing something i assumed and it's not very relevant to the real case uh, and the other thing that i was you know very short in time i had to publish a paper in a scopus journal and what i realized is you know it's it's actually a learning process i mean it's, it's different you need to try you need to understand like you know the requirements of the, how to publish a paper i needed some support in publishing because i didn't have any experience in that but that also was was one of the challenges and again i had very short you know limited time so this was in some more or less some of the challenges yeah yeah yeah, I think these are very common challenges, I suppose, that a lot of PhD students are, are going through. So walk us maybe through what happened step by step and, and how did you manage to overcome these challenges? Because at the end of the day, I mean, hats off to you, you did all the work. I mean, we did support you, of course, and, you know, we gave you a coach and, and materials and, and systems and processes and all of that. But at the end of the day, you took action and you did all the work yourself. So what happened and what were some of the the, like you know the big lessons that allowed you to tackle the issues yeah i mean like when i joined the community i felt there is like sort of support i mean despite even the tight timeline but like you know the coaches were willing to support and you know understand my situation it was very i mean like i can tell you the several things i went through um so first the material i think the course was was really good i wish i would have seen them right you know before <laughs> before but it was for me it was a bit late because i already started writing and somehow but i mean i think it was really uh, helpful still at my stage the other thing is again the support i mean definitely from the coaches but like you feel somehow lonely you feel the only one who are facing struggles or the only one who are facing challenges seeing others right in the community saying yeah we do have challenges and we do have also you know like celebrating their success but that also tells you you're not the only person right in that situation that also somehow gives you some um some motivation and definitely the feedback and the feedback for me was was crucial in two things again for the paper because um and it was the first time i published a paper in academic journal i think the way coaches give also the their comments is really helpful then the other thing also was again i told you i had an issue with structuring the thesis 
because they had to change everything through the flow of the chapters. It also was very helpful. So the support I received and the guidance from the coaching. And that the best thing also I like about the, the community or published researcher is that, again, you know, you try to help people to learn so that they can do that on their own afterwards. And I think this is really yani, the best approach we can do because that's, you know, that's your helping people to learn rather than doing the job for them or, or even helping them with a piece of paper. This is something that also made me you know um, you know want to join the program and like you know it's, it's really helpful mm -hmm. yeah so i suppose it's you're gaining skills for the rest of your your research career which is really the goal absolutely and there are a few things that i want to pick up on so in terms of you mentioned the materials that, that we have on phd systems that that helped you i suppose you know there's so much information online i mean there's a ton of youtube videos you can watch as well and free academic writing courses that you can do probably at your university as well i mean how was this different that it allowed you to you know finish the phd thesis and write a paper as well you know yeah i mean you're correct definitely there's so many uh, you know material online and i have you know before even joining and even after like sometimes I've, I've been checking these courses i think again like for me it helped like you know that maybe was my main problem was like again the structure for like having a structured uh, like of a chapter for example like intro what has to be included or whatever for example the uh, literature review the literature review i mean for me actually was an issue because i mean I, I really read everything i mean this is how i feel i have to go through things i mean so that's something how uh, changed my mind when especially when I had to for example write for the paper and paper is like I need to finish it quickly I had to change my approach the tool as well I mean like you can arrange your uh, literature review and then you can go back to it again I mean while writing I mean this is helps you like be more organized and more focused rather than going back again to the same paper you read several times before just to go back again and again I mean I used to do this it's really a you know tiring process having this like you know structure for the different chapters what to include this issue on the research gap I I think also was very helpful like you know you can how you can really assess whether your research point or like research question is really you know making sense and of value and of you know interesting to others and again i mean i wish i would have joined the program like in earlier stages i think even the material would have helped me much more it would be very helpful for really someone who's just starting tell us a little bit more about it like i suppose traditionally you know the support that is offered is mostly, you know, it's about academic writing, but you're, you're saying you've learned a lot of things about, you know, like a PhD mindset. So what was like a key learning for you in terms of the mindset that you think really helped you to to move forward with the phd yeah so i mean i have been facing challenges right in in the process and sometimes like i mean it's uh, you know i'm consciously like I, i'm i can say i'm someone who's really responsible right i mean like i take responsibility of my actions the mindset the part where you're talking about the mindset that you know you need to take responsibility right of your actions and you need to to move forward i mean not to blame the circumstances and everything that's going wrong i mean that that was helpful like I mean, was again confirming what I need to hear. That sort of thing, right? That you take responsibility is, I think it's uh, it's important in a PhD and whatever as well. But I mean, it's, it's like, it's a lesson, life lesson, right? Not just in the PhD. So that was very helpful for me again, because of my specific situation, so. Yeah, so also I think an interesting thing that you're saying here is whatever you do on the course, it also depends on your circumstances, right? Because I think a lot of the times, and I've taken a lot of online courses, is that especially the more academic ones is, you know, you have to go from start to finish through a bunch of videos and you have to do them always in this order. And it turns out that half of them are just not useful to you and stuff like this. Whereas I think what you're experiencing here is that you know, you, you did the things that were relevant to you and were solving like specific issues for you. And the journey would be different for somebody who maybe is not struggling with the structure, but maybe more struggling with, you know, discussing the results and highlighting the main contribution, right? Totally yeah. agree. I mean, that's really a, a good advantage that you can start wherever you are and then you can, you know, uh, you don't have to go through the, like, you know, the whole course. I mean, and this is what I actually did. I didn't have to go through the whole thing. But, yani, by time, I sometimes go back to that because I still find it helpful. Uh, again, you can have, you know, um, feedback, prompt, right? I mean, prompt feedback, you can go and ask your coach, you can send a message, you can, you know, even seeing others in the community posting. I mean, I mean, this is also like I think for PhD students is really helpful. I needed to have that sort of support that was really great about the course mm. yeah, and the coaches. And one one last thing I wanted to ask you, Nesma, because when you talked about feedback, you said that 
you know, we, we're obviously not in your field and we're not experts in, in what you're doing. So how then did that feedback help you? Because I think most of the time the assumption is, well, I, I need feedback or editing or whatever from somebody who is an expert in my field, because otherwise, I mean, how will they know what I'm talking about, right? And how will they be able to guide my writing? Yeah, you know, I, I think what's um, uh, the support or the feedback is more than editing. I don't think the coaches are just providing you right editing. I mean, I think it's much deeper and more than that. It's how like you organize your thoughts. I mean, it's like how clear you are in your writing and expressing the message you want to send. It's, it's not just like, you know, editing language. I think it's it's much deeper. But highlighting these things like made me really think while I'm, I'm writing the rest of, you know, the rest of the thesis. If I'm looking again at their, you know, their sort of comments that made me like recognize that I keep on repeating certain mistakes for example, either in clarity or even editing or whatever, so that I can also, uh, you know, try to overcome it. I think it's much more beyond editing. And I think the coaches are doing a good job on that. I mean, that was very helpful for me, especially again, the type of writing I do, I mean, is not the academic. I'm, I'm more of, again, like professional sites, right? But for me, this shift was really, uh, took me a while to realize, right? This is academic uh, writing and it's very different. I mean, what's what's next for you? How are you planning to celebrate the PhD? Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking, exploring what I you know, what I'm going to exactly do, but I really hope to uh, continue publishing the papers. I mean, I feel it's, uh, this is one thing I want to uh, to pursue, hopefully, inshallah. I'm still exploring whether to join academia or not. And I was also something, right? I mean, turning from, you know, professional like work experience to academic. I taught uh, some time before, but like not that much, yeah, in just a few years. I really like the research and, you know, curiosity like you know you just it's really interesting especially if it's really related to something that you know a problem that exists if i feel so motivated i mean i like the you know the experience of the phd despite the challenges so i'm hoping to continue in academia but still exploring uh, opportunities maybe look for a postdoc or a fellowship uh, but publishing is the first thing i hopefully inshallah i will do we like the papers in the thesis i have no doubt that you will you will publish papers soon and congratulations again on the phd and you know on taking action because at the end of the day you know you did it yourself so all the credit to you Nesma for you know stepping out of your comfort zone taking support and, and just really doing the hard work and and getting it done yeah I think asking for support is really something important it's my personal experience I'm not the type of person who really asks for support I would encourage anyone right I mean just to uh, you know to, to ask for support and I really would recommend the program was really helpful I mean in several you know instances and I even hoping inshallah to continue yani, in the in the community inshallah.